Hi everyone, I'm Peggy Kay, and today I want to talk about what's going to happen to your Google Plus photos when Consumer Google Plus shuts down on April 2nd. I'll also show you how to use Google Takeout to download a copy of your photos uploaded to Google Plus so you don't lose anything. The good news is that Google Photos, which is a separate product from Google Plus, will not be shutting down. And any of the photos that you uploaded to your Google Plus profile or Google Plus page that are in Google Photos will not be deleted. However, that does mean any photos that are not in your Google Photos will be deleted, so you'll probably want to download a backup copy of those. So what is going to happen? When Consumer Google Plus shuts down, your Google Plus Photos from Posts and Google Plus Photos of You albums in your album archive will be deleted. Photos from posts are images and videos that you uploaded and shared on Google+. It does not include images that you shared in Google+, comments, and it doesn't include the images that automatically display when you share a link to another website. The Photos of You album are images uploaded either by you or by other people that you are tagged in. Tagging was removed as an option in 2015, so these are all going to be older images. In 2015, Google Photos launched as a standalone product separate from Google+. At that time, any photos or albums that you had uploaded to Google+, became available in going Google Photos. However, after Google Photos split away, any new images or videos that you uploaded to Google Plus were not automatically added to your Google Photos, and those may be deleted come April 2nd. So in addition to the photos and videos that you uploaded to Google Plus before Google Photos split off, Google Photos should also include any images that you backed up using old versions of the Google Plus mobile app from 2015 or earlier, and it should include photos and videos associated with Google Plus events. Note that Google Photos will also not include other people's photos that you were tagged in, the ones that you can find in your Google Plus Photos of You album in your album archive. Now you may want to double check and see if Google Photos includes all your images. Just keep in mind that your Google Plus Photos from Posts album organizes your images by the date that they were shared on Google Plus. Google Photos, on the other hand, organizes your images by the date of the image itself, and those dates may not be the same. Also note that if you want to check photos that were uploaded by your Google Plus page, you're going to have to switch from your main Google account identity to your Google Plus pages brand account identity in your album archive and in Google Photos. The best way to make sure that you have a copy of your Google Plus photos and videos is to download an archive of those images using Google Takeout. In Google Takeout, you're going to want to create and download an archive of your Google Plus stream. You can customize your Google Plus stream archive so that it only includes your photos and videos and not any of your other Google Plus content. If you're using a mobile device or otherwise don't have a lot of storage space, you can have your Google Takeout archive delivered to cloud storage, including Google Drive, OneDrive, Box and Dropbox. Just bear in mind that if your archive is very large, that storage space may not be free. Your Google Plus Stream Photos folder has several additional folders inside it. One is photos from your posts, and those are organized by the date of the post. One is miscellaneous photos, which looks like it may be albums your profile photos. There are links to photos of you, but not any original photos that other people uploaded. That means that if you want 
to have a copy of those photos, you should look at them and maybe download them manually. Photos from polls that you posted and scrapbook photos, which are images that you used for your Google Plus profiles cover image. Now, I know it's not that easy to navigate through these folders, but at least you have a copy. And again, if you're not certain that the images and videos that are important to you are in your Google Photos, it's worth it to download a copy of those images before Consumer Google Plus shuts down on April 2nd. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe for more creator tips and tutorials.